I broke my wife and I don't think it's fixable. What is going on everyone and welcome back to Redditor Extra, the home of the very best relationship drama stories on YouTube. In this one, a man accidentally calls his wife ugly after a few too many beers and the fallout is not good. Without further ado, sit back, relax, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get into it. Original post, February 22nd, 2024. This happened six months ago and I only chose to talk now because I don't see improvement in sight and I am hopeless. We were at a party. My friend is single and we started talking about love and relationships. My wife and I have been happily married for seven years. We have three beautiful children. She is the love of my life. When I was talking to my friend, I felt like we were on different levels of thinking. His complaints are mostly superficial about how the people he dated looked. I was a bit drunk at that point and said something like, you don't fall in love with looks. Look at me and my wife. I love her more than anything compared to my ex who was just looks. Everyone went silent and my damage control was worse. So I ended up shutting the heck up. I couldn't get my point across, but even I thought that maybe these thoughts have been in my head, but only came out when I was drunk. My wife was shocked. First week, she was so angry and wanted to understand what I meant and nothing I said was good enough. I was drunk. I love her. I think she's the most beautiful woman. She thought being drunk made me say my true feelings. Then one morning she just said, you know, I have never felt as ugly as I have felt this past week. I have always thought I am beautiful. She didn't cry this time, but she hasn't been happy since. I started crying and apologizing, but she was like emotionless. It was the last time she looked at me too. She is taciturn and distant, but only with me. She has lost 20 pounds and she works out six, seven days a week. She never has free time with me. If she's not with the children or her family and friends, she's immersed in some book or has her headphones on. She's always fully clothed now, even in bed. She locks the bathroom door when she takes a shower. She is more active on social media too. She shares many pictures of her and she thanks everyone who gives her a compliment. Before, it was just pictures with our children and pets, but now it's her working out in sports bras and tights. I broke her and I don't know how to fix it. That is the end of the original post. Let's get into some relevant comments. Someone said, what you said doesn't seem like a huge deal to me, TBH. Is there more to this or is the wording slightly different? OP. The wording is different, but the sentiment is the same. I don't exactly remember what I said word for word. Someone else added, what happens when you try talking with her? Also, have you tried since the last time? I don't know why you said what you said. And to me, it's important for you to recognize how you hurt her and say that to her. If you're serious, you love her. You gotta fight for her or get confirmation it's over. It's up to you. OP. She isn't rude or anything. She doesn't ignore me when I talk to her. She's less engaged and taciturn and only answers my questions. Another Redditor said, I think this is fixable. Get therapy and make your wife feel beautiful again. Treat her like someone you're afraid of losing and be proactive about it. This doesn't mean intimacy, by the way. This means communicating with her, telling her you care about her, showing her how much you do. If I tell her that she's beautiful or that she looks beautiful today, she would get very angry. Now she doesn't even react and it destroys me because I have always thought she is beautiful. I was trying to make a point that love is more than just being attracted to looks. And finally, someone asked, so are you going to answer any of the comments asking about what you said as damage control? Because that's a very important detail that you left out of your post and it definitely matters. OP, my friend and wife and my wife's friend and husband were very silent and I started saying that I didn't mean that my wife wasn't good looking. I just meant that I loved her for other things. Then even worse, I said that sometimes you are very attracted to someone and everything is a whirlwind with them, but you have nothing in common and see no future. And I probably alluded that I used my brain and not my D when looking for a relationship. I thought it was the logical way of thinking, but for her, I think she would have preferred that whirlwind and passion. I haven't read all comments. This is the first one I read that asked to explain the damage control. Update, March 18th, 2024. We have been going to counseling and my wife at first has been very reluctant to open up and wanted to pretend that everything was fine. One session, she just asked me, I want the truth. Here and now, no sugar coating and do not try to spare my feelings. Did you find me attractive when we met? I really didn't know what to say to this. I love her more than anything, even more than my children and myself. I think that she's the most beautiful woman I know, but did I immediately think that when I met her? No, I didn't really find her attractive. We all grow up having a type. I remember thinking that she wasn't exactly my type. 
but she was so lovable and sweet. It didn't take me long to fall for her, and now I find women who look like her attractive, so I guess type is something very superficial and fleeting. I told her the truth. She cried and said that she herself didn't know why she was so hurt and crying. She knew that there were more beautiful women. She never wanted to be the most beautiful woman either, but that she has always been considered beautiful by other people, which is true, and always got attention. But the fact that the one person she wanted to be found the most beautiful girl in the world by didn't think that and that's what made her sad the man she loved way before we even started dating this was on our latest session and it was the most draining experience later when we got home she apologized for making a big deal out of something this trivial but that she just couldn't help it and she was as confused to why it affected her so badly on saturday she told me that she didn't want to stay in our marriage that something broke inside of her she asked me if i would try to hurt her and the children if we did separate if I would use them to get back at her, alienate her because she chose to leave. I promised her that none of this would happen and that I loved her and wanted her to be happy even if it wasn't with me. Our families are in uproar over this. Mostly they're angry with her, that she let her insecurities get the best and worst of her. But I don't think it is insecurity to be honest. She has never cared about people's attention. She just realized that the only person whose approval she cared about didn't give her. At least that he had to learn it, and that wasn't enough. Let's get into some more comments about this one. Someone quoted, She asked me if I would try to hurt her or the children if we did separate. If I would use them to get back at her. As bad as your comment was in the first post, I had a feeling there was more to it. For her to have that fear, it seems you've at least been emotionally abusive in other ways. I hope she finds peace away from you, OP. It happened to her sister. I understand why she is scared. Someone else asked for more info. Then how are you standing up for her? Advocating on her behalf. Taking accountability for where this issue began. If you don't agree, what are you doing? You love her more than yourself, right? So how are you showing that? OP. Yeah, I made it clear that their opinions aren't welcome. Everything is just new and I warned them to ever bother her with their opinion. If they don't respect it, I will be cutting people off. Finally, someone asked. Have you done anything to make her feel beautiful? or to show her you love her. I don't know, but this sounds like years of built up not feeling good enough or not feeling attractive. I worry this will happen to me as the compliments I get by my man are usually fished for, yet other men seem to compliment me for no reason. OP, it hasn't been easy since anything I do or say feels disingenuous to her, unfortunately. She has been rebuffing any attempts. It's not like I've just started doing that either. I have always shown how much I think she's beautiful and sexy, I am not allowed that anymore. Okay, not gonna lie. Um, I just don't think that OP has done a good job here at all. Like she keeps asking for reassurance and OP keeps going, I don't really know what to tell you. And that's it. Like, how is that ever gonna resolve the situation unless he doesn't want the situation to be resolved? But it just doesn't seem like he's working very hard at this at all. I mean, if you agree with me or disagree with me, get in the comments down below. From my point of view, he just is blowing every chance he's possibly had at salvaging this. I mean, if we go back to the original incident, when OP said that his damage control was worse, so he ended up shutting the heck up. I mean, you've gone from one bad comment to, I don't know what you might have said to, to seemingly completely destroy your wife's soul in that moment. Like, it must have been worse. I feel like one comment, you know, when you're drunk, out of context, whatever, can just be resolved pretty reasonably with a decent apology. But what did you say after that? to make it so much worse and then what did you not do and not apologize for in, in the coming weeks to, to yeah seemingly make the whole situation even worse again i don't know just very very weird from op i mean to be fair i do kind of agree with some of the comments here that are saying that they guarantee that op is leaving out key information here because there's more to this story than what it seems and i do think that has to be the case i think just some of what op is saying cannot possibly line up with with how his wife is reacting and i'm not saying that his wife is reacting in an unreasonable way here i'm saying that i think that op is not telling us everything but there we go what do you think let me know in the comments down below for now let's move on to story two of this episode my friend's sister who's in her 20s was openly flirting with my husband who is 40 in front of me a 31 year old woman i told her off publicly and now they want a public apology from me what action should i take so that i don't ruin my friendship original post march 12th 2024 i 31 female am close friends with lisa 33 female we met at college and became roommates and i love her to death 
Lisa has a sister, Amy, who is in her 20s, whom I've met occasionally in college, but she was so young at that time, we never really hung out. Lisa had a bridal shower in February, and I financially contributed to most of it, since I wasn't able to be there in person to help with the planning. I gave money to Amy to pay for everything, the decor, food and alcohol. I even paid for an overnight stay at a hotel for all seven girls. I did all of this because I couldn't make it to her bachelorette party the week before, I had also paid for the limo Amy wanted to host the party in. At the shower, I saw Amy and she was gushing about how I had spent a lot of money on Lisa. I just said, if it's for Lisa, I would have paid for anything. Amy was hinting that my job was paying so much money for me to spend on Lisa this much. I'm a new surgeon, just graduated from residency. I got a pay bump, but not a lot. I'm lucky because my husband is supporting me while I go through fellowship. My husband, 40, is a doctor too but so much more advanced in his career than me. For my wedding gift, he paid off the remainder of my student loans. He is amazing and I am obsessed with him. Wedding happened in March. My husband and I came for the wedding. Family and close friends were invited to Lisa's parents' place for dinner after. Amy was very handsy with my husband. Even during the wedding, she was asking him about his job, how smart he was to be working in the ICU, how hot he was, how he looks like a young blah blah. My husband was giving me signals to come to him and I did. This happened at least two more times. At Lisa's parents, Amy was wrapping her arm around my husband's back and was serving him drinks and food. I told Lisa's mum about how Amy's making me and my husband very uncomfortable and her mum pulled her aside and told her off, I think, because she came out grumpy. She was still acting like a crazed teenager because when we wanted to leave, she wouldn't give my husband his jacket back to him and kept sniffing it. I had a feeling that she was drunk and completely out of it. My husband raised his voice and told her to stop messing around and give it to him. I yelled, can you stop being so difficult? You've been shamelessly flirting with my husband in front of me the whole day. Give me the dang jacket and leave us alone. I got a text from Lisa's mum demanding I publicly apologize to Amy as in post on social media, a heartfelt apology because some of the guests heard me yell at her and thought I was overreacting and humiliated her. Lisa is on my side and told me Amy has always had gold digging tendencies and that this isn't the first time she'd done something like this. She flirted with her friend's dad and their next door neighbor who is married when she thought that they were wealthy. Lisa said that she'll handle it. I already felt so bad I ruined the last moments of her wedding day and now she has to deal with this. I'm ruminating on this a lot lately and wondering if I should apologize to Amy. I don't want to, but then again, if I did, I would explain exactly what happened and how it merited my reaction to her. Though this might add fuel to the fire, there is so much drama right now and I want to preserve my friendship with Lisa. Time for some relevant comments. Are the guests at the wedding also your Facebook friends? I don't understand how a public apology on social media would work in this case. I mean, I imagine the guests include aunts, uncles, neighbors, etc. of the family. Are they really going to see your FB apology? OP. Her mum wants me to tag her and Lisa so that their family can see it. I don't even use Facebook anymore, but her family are still active on it. The same user then replied, if you don't use FB, then there's your answer. Lisa said she'll handle it. Update March 18th, 2024. My previous post got so popular that Amy's mum found it and texted me to take it down in all caps. I got around to reading most of the comments a day after I posted when I finished my shift. I didn't apologize to anyone or do anything at all. Frankly, I forgot about it since I had people close to dying on me left and right at work. I gaslit Amy's mum into thinking that I never did such a thing and that I did not have a Reddit account. She believed it. I think since she didn't text me back, come on, the details I put in that post were exactly what she experienced and she didn't find it odd. For clarification, one of you said I had a spine of a jellyfish. Loved that comment and not apologizing was the right thing to do. I was hesitant and was actually considering giving that apology because of the fact that she fed me and let me stay in her home during Thanksgiving and Christmas many years ago when I couldn't go home to my family. I'm the kind of person who will remember every good thing you do for me and do my best to reciprocate or get even so as to not be indebted to you. I don't know what kind of mental illness that is. I never retained much of the psychiatric info from med school. A lot of people insinuated that me being docile and restrained in those kinds of situations makes me a bad surgeon to which I say I beg your effing pardon. Would you want someone who's operating on you have a criminal record for causing bodily harm? Homicide. Also, I've dealt with worse than Amy. 
I've survived handling 19 psychotic patients with TBIs for a whole rotation. Me being aggressive would have gotten me kicked out of my fellowship. Things that have transpired. I tried to avoid contacting Lisa since she went off on her honeymoon. But because of the popularity of my previous post, I decided to give her a heads up. Lisa was more than apologetic. In fact, she FaceTimed me and we had a very teary conversation about her family. There were a lot more going on that I never knew, but mine and my husband's involvement in her family drama was the last straw. She had decided to go no contact with her mom and sister. She also warned me that Amy might approach my husband in some way, but no idea how. She's also getting her extended family involved with Amy. My husband does not have any social media and he did not give out his number to anyone at all during the wedding. He is anal about loyalty and transparency in our marriage. We have access to each other's electronics. I know he would never cheat on me. Three days ago, someone called my husband's clinic asking to get his number for an emergency and that she needed to get a hold of his wife. The nurse who answered refused to give a physician's personal number and the conversation got heated. My husband's colleague, another intensivist, took over and asked her to tell him what the emergency was so that he could tell my husband himself. The person on the phone argued some more and when the doctor wouldn't give, she hung up. That friend told my husband what happened and said the woman didn't give her name but had a very high-pitched childlike voice. My husband immediately knew it was Amy but we have no proof. I know it was her. She must have searched my husband's name on Google and found where he worked since his professional profile is online along with the name of his hospital. I'm getting more and more irritated by this whole thing and have gone full on mama bear mode over my husband. He was furiously annoyed after the wedding and was saying if the genders were switched, he would have definitely gotten punched, not even halfway through the wedding. My husband had terrible experiences with women before. Two women at different times tried to baby trap him. One did some Sherlock level manipulation and one harassed us when we were dating. He is usually a cool and calm guy, but now he hasn't been smiling or joking around with me like he always does ever since the wedding. Anywho, my uncle, our lawyer, was consulted security at my husband's department and around our home have been notified p.s kelly if you're reading this do something about your younger daughter before something bad happens also you don't deserve your older daughter okay that is it for the post let's get into some comments dang can your lawyer uncle draft a letter to scare amy just outlining what she is doing is harassment and the outcome if she continues Sounds like Amy might need mental help and threats of repercussions might force her mother's hand to getting her help. Is the dad around? I hope other family members will start pressuring Amy to get help. OP. Nope, we couldn't prove it was Amy that called. We just have to wait and see if she does anything. Our only hope is that she stays broke and can't afford to travel to where we live since it's far from hers. Her dad's dead. I hope so too. Someone else said, why has everyone got an uncle lawyer? I'm half Asian. That uncle is Asian too. That should answer your question. Well, let's be honest. Amy just sounds awful. She sounds unhinged. She sounds extremely embarrassing. And maybe that just stems from her mum, who seems like an absolute enabler of, of her actions. What's crazy is that Opie has actually said that they were considering apologizing to the woman who was flirting with her husband. What? What? That is ridiculous, Opie. Like, she's called your husband's workplace. It's such a huge red flag. Never apologize to her. And... I don't know. I don't know what the next step is here, but Amy just needs to get out of this entire situation in any way that, that you can make her. I mean, the only potential apology you could ever have even considered would be something along the lines of, I'm so sorry that I embarrassed you by calling out your outrageous and terrible attempt, quite frankly, at flirting with my husband. You know, if you want to go with that, be my guest. Don't apologize for anything else. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this one. Drop your comments down below. Both stories, I want to hear your thoughts. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down here. If you want more relationship Reddit drama, check out my playlist of all my content. It's all similar to this right there on screen as well. And then, um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow with some more stories just like this one.